Are you in love with Madison? Yeah. Still not sure how this is going to end, but I do know Madison is backstage right now. So let's bring her out. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison. Have a seat. Hi. <laughs> How does it feel to see Peter again? I mean, it's always great. <laughs> um, no, it feels, feels good, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, a very pleasant surprise, obviously, seeing you, you know, the last time, you know, a couple weeks ago, but it's crazy. M Madison, right before you walked out, Peter said he's in love with you. Mm -hmm. When I came to see you in Auburn, you said those feelings hadn't died inside you either. Where's your head right now? Um, I love Peter, and that like hasn't changed since that day in Australia. Um, and like just the love and like <laughs> the care that we have for one another. I feel like it's so evident and obvious and. I think we were both kind of hoping that after that day in Australia that we would be able to have closure and move on. Um, but I think those feelings just never went away. Um, and, you know, when you came to Auburn and kind of told me everything, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in, and it was... I mean, kind of a, a struggle for me and just processing everything, you know, and one day I was told that, you know, Peter was right. engaged and that he broke off an engagement um, and that he also, you know, still had love in his heart for me. And so I, you know, needed time to kind of process that and kind of think through that. Um, and, you know, that day that we went and I saw him, um, I didn't know how the conversation was going to go. Um, and I knew that there were like still feelings and just like so much love in my heart. Um, and because of that, I felt like we deserved to have that conversation and just be able to be just really real and honest with one another. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out you guys are on the same page. You're in love. And I've been saying for weeks, nobody knows how this is going to end. So I still don't know. <laughs> And we're all on the edge of our seats. Answer the million dollar question. How is this going to end? Listen, I, I, um, I just think it's like important to say, you know, obviously we've talked a little since, you know, we haven't seen each other, but we've been able to talk and we've both been, you know, really hurt, extremely hurt and been through the ringer with all this. And I know there's a lot of healing that both of us have to do. Um, but I know the love and the respect I have for you and that's never changed. And like I said, I've made more mistakes than you could ever make as a bachelor. But um, I, I'm still sitting here on a couch next to you right now. And, you know, through everything, like, that makes me happy. So, um, you know, I don't know what, what this actually means right now. <laughs> but. Do you want to give this relationship a real shot? I, I think that, you know, I, I know how we both feel about each other. And, you know, I think, like, you know, taking, like, one step at a time, one day at a time, is, like, you know, possibly the smartest way to go with this. Um, I know that I have, like I said, a lot of healing to do, and I know she does, too. But, again, the way I feel for you, that's, that's, never, that's never changed, and I've never just lost that. And... You know, whatever that means, whatever this turns into, do we have a million and one obstacles? Yeah. Is it all uphill? Probably.